CMOS producers from across St. Lucia gathered at the Department of Fisheries for the certificate presentation of the CMOS workshop, organized in collaboration with the Taiwan Technical Mission, aimed at revolutionizing CMOS production by sharing Taiwan's expertise in CMOS processing. Under the expert guidance of Dr. Hoi Carl Young from Taiwan, participants were enlightened on advanced extraction, purification methods, quality assurance, and safety hygiene practices in CMOS production. Ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chayun Chen, says the adoption of these advanced CMOS processing techniques can significantly boost marketability and profitability, playing a crucial role in the growth and development of St. Lucia's CMOS industry. I know that Professor Yang has introduced some processing methods of CMOS, extraction and purification procedures, tips on CMOS value-added products, and business application. I would like to thank him to come all the way from Taiwan to share his expertise with us. One of the participants, Giovanni William, says the workshop empowered him with invaluable knowledge and practical skills that will undoubtedly revolutionize his approach to CMOS production. We, we learned a lot. We learned the processes, we learned the different methods of preservation from the, the start, from the start from the, 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 from the different type of CMOS as well, and the different methods, what is actually good and what's not good. The collaboration between the Department of Fisheries and the Taiwan Technical Mission exemplifies the dedication to fostering the growth and sustainability of the CMOS industry, as affirmed by Agriculture Minister Honorable Alfred Prosper, who emphasizes that the workshop's acquired knowledge empowers local producers to elevate their production practices and make significant contributions to the country's economic development. That whilst we may be thinking that all of what we are doing in the CMOS subsector is correct. But the very places, the very countries that we export our CMOS, their eyes are open, very open, in terms of looking at the standards. Our standards must be high. Our standards must be maintained. And if we are to remain in the market and to maintain the status of we producing the best CMOS in the world, we must ensure that we maintain the standards. The Department of Fisheries stands unwavering in its commitment to supporting and empowering local producers, propelling St. Lucia's CMOS production to new heights and seizing opportunities in the global market. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.